Welcome back to our Bluesy Water channel. Today I want to introduce a new technology that we're going to add to our tools chart. And this is something I've been working with in general for about 15 years, but this is a newer form of this therapy and it's called electrostatic field therapy. And before I get into that, I just want to do a quick review and go over our tools chart one more time. I just want to make some quick key points. When somebody comes to me or calls me and they're struggling. Sometimes they've bought 10, 15 tools and they're still struggling. So it's really important, number one, to really have a vision what the tool does, what the tool doesn't do. The purpose of this chart is kind of a rough overview to help you figure out what you're working on and what tools will work for you and what tools won't work for you. And also within the tools themselves, their limitations. When you go online and look at say like PMF therapy or hydrogen therapy or any of these therapies, people are trying to sell the tool. They're gonna not tell you where, you know, the downside of it, number one. They're not gonna tell you uh, what its limitations are. They're not trying to sell you on multiple tools and how to work them together. It's kind of like, um, it's more like one-on-one -on -one basketball. You could be a one-on-one -on -one player and you know, win, win, win the game. Well, we all know it's teamwork. So with these tools, you gotta learn how to integrate them. Also, depending on the shape you're in, what's going on, some person might heal quickly, other person might take a longer time. The better the integrations, the better the synergies, the better you get. So, you know, some person might become a great basketball player in six months and then somebody might have to work their butt off and they're slow, steady, wins the race kind of person. You got stars that are incredible right out of the gate and then they burn out. So similar, uh, similar with the healing. If you really learn how to combine these tools and you stay patient and you really understand the process and you, uh, you are a student of the game, the game of healing, you will get far. My job is to be your coach, literally. So I understand the game, I've been at it a long time. I understand all the ins and outs of these tools and I'm not married to any tool. I want you to get the best tools and the combinations of tools. So I highly encourage anyone who's getting online to please understand, you know, you're not gonna have somebody selling you PMF tell you why A, their system is limited, why it might be deficient. As a practitioner, there are various critical things I wanna get across. Number one, when we get to certain conditions in the body, you need to try to get to cells and it's impossible. The cells are sort of out of business and you can't get in so that you're not able to permeate. Number two, a ther therapeutic threshold means how long do you do the therapy per day, per year? What's the time period? Well, how long do you have to do it to get a result? We need to understand also the third part is what I call an Ayurvedic perspective. Real simple. Uh, sauna is a perfect example of heat. So some people hate heat. Uh, ice, icing yourself is an example of a cooling therapy. So a lot of these therapies tend to lean more in the fire direction. They might create excessive inflammation, they heat you up, um, and they need to be balanced. This in Ayurvedic medicine, it's about balancing the elements. If you're an excessive fire person, you want to balance that out. If you're a very watery person, kind of cold all the time, you balance that out. So. This is very, very, very important because you can get into aggravations and you don't understand what's going on because you think the therapy is supposed to help you, but you're not thinking about it in terms of the obvious elementals. Inflammation in general, if you look at this category systemic, autoimmune inflammatory diseases can, is a huge culprit in the body in general. So that's something to be noted and we deal with working with inflammation as a whole category but at a much deeper level. Antimicrobial inflammation a lot of times comes because the body is fighting and working hard to deal with infections and things like that. And like Corona, by the way, virus is in a perfect example. You get the virus, the, you get what's called this radical cytokine storm, and that can kill you. Literally a huge inflammatory response in the body trying, attempting to deal with this virus. So, 
there are there are many dimensions and layers going on and you need to know understand if you have a lot of inflammation okay maybe it's due to a deeper level by the way in Microbes isn't just the only thing. So what we help you do is evaluate what's going on and then how do you use the tools? So you're not going like you think you're going to win it just on a three point shot over and over to use a basketball analogy. You got to have different skill sets. You got to be able to drive to the basket. You got to, you know, big one nowadays in the, sorry, the basketball analogy, play defense. Well, a lot of your healing is about learning defense against environmental toxins, against the microbes. And you have killer defense, you're going to have way less of these secondary layers of systemic immune, autoimmune, inflammatory diseases. All right. So that being said, these are some of the key therapies on our chart. Just to review vibration therapy with rapid release, incredible, covers many dimensions, detoxification of the body trauma, working the lymph system, working the organs, working the connective tissue, the entire structure as a whole, the meridians, amazing therapy, and do a lot with these two tools combined, the vibration machine with a rapid release handheld vibrational tool. I use this in body work, I get incredible results, so I appreciate it because I use it in my practice. Molecular hydrogen therapy, killer therapy because this therapy gets deep within the cell. It, even if you're very, very toxic and you the cells are out of business, this will get to the cells. This is the most permeable cellular therapy I know of. That's why it's amazing. Incredible at inflammation, also incredible at help, helping the body get the fuel it needs to heal. PMF therapy also gets to the cell. It's not an infusion therapy. It's like a magnetic little mini hammers at the cell, pumping the cell. Vibration machine is a G-force therapy that pumps the cell from the outside in. This goes straight through you. I call it micro pump. I call this macro pump. Ozone therapy is an infusion gas therapy made with elect electrical corona discharge in a machine, which is lightning strike. So it's a high electrical field, zapping the oxygen, creating ozone. You're putting this electrified oxygen in the body and it works really good on pathogens. By the way, when you get to this chart, you're going to find out hydrogen is really good at inflammation, not short term. Long term, it can help build the immune system, the gut immunity, and we get into a video explaining that. But short term, if you have a pathogen, this is not the therapy you go for. Ozone is short term amazing on pathogens if, you're, if you have a, a flu or a bacterial infection or something like that. The only pathic protocol for those who are into the more subtle energy medicine, we included this in the chart because uh, it, it deals more with the subconscious aspect of disease. And this is my interpretation and you have to Google homeopathy if you don't understand what it is and read about it. I don't wanna explain it here, um, but it's a, this is an intriguing uh, different dimensional type of therapy. Uh, rapid release we talked about and then we have this chi machine great for trauma work we think that's so important and this is one of the best technologies to deal with people who have a lot of trauma and for unwinding the spine is also good for the lymph breathe like a yogi for dummies is in our trauma release program step one it's very it costs about forty dollars to do this practice by the tool and it's profound on getting way more oxygen to the cells and causing a relaxation response in the body. Bluesy water is our um, premier detox product, works multidimensionally on heavy metals, chemicals. It works on microbes. It's what, what's called structured water. So we have a whole write up on our website, what is bluesy water? We recommend this for, it's a core product in this program here. All right. so. We have videos on lung protocols. We have, you know, neck program, whole video on working on the brain. If you're working on, let's say, your liver, that's another protocol. If you're working more structural, that's another combination of skills. Um, if you're dealing with more psychological issues, then you, the brain protocol helps with the neurotransmitters and things like that. So we have a lot of subset protocols that are not on this list. But these are the everyday profound global therapies that we feel are very, very important. The subset therapies you might want to use along with these global therapies, but these are global, those are subset. So I feel that they do more work overall 
for whole body healing. That's why they're on this list. Doesn't mean I can't give you a whole protocol for the brain, let's say, or the liver, or the heart, or the lungs, or the kidneys, or structural, let's say you got real bad structural problems. But we start with these because they're global and they do a lot of great work. All right, today we're gonna to talk about something called, it's gonna get on the list, it's called the Mission Coil. This is a great, great write-up, and we can get you a link. Now, I've been working with this machine here called the ePower Machine Pride for 15, 20 years, long time. Same basic principle as the Mission Coil, but there's a very fundamental difference. So it's called electrostatic field therapy. It's basically, to just get it real simple, imagine going up in the sky in the middle of a light, uh, thunderstorm and you're sitting in lightning up in the sky, but you never get electrocuted. That's what these therapies are like. They'll infuse you, they'll charge you, they put, go, the electricity goes right through you, but you don't get electrocuted. So hydrogen, which is very interesting, is the sun is made of hydrogen, it's exploding, it's dynamic. Electricity is a profound healer. And when you can infuse the body with electricity, it does enormous benefit. Hydrogen, when you infuse your body, goes deep into the cell, enormous benefit. They are able to infuse deeply and do incredible work. That's the common bond. So electrostatic therapy, once again, like sitting in a lightning storm, not getting electrocuted. When I used to use this machine, I put it on the table, this belt, it usually goes around the body, but I put it right under the client. And about a half hour in, the acupuncture work would become much, much more successful. So this is actually helps you become more charged up. The cells charge up, it's like a battery charger for the cells. And it helps if you're working on breaking the blockages in the body, it helps break down blockages. So that's why you need to understand what this does and then how to make it work better. So acupuncture with this better. If you're doing uh, other work to break down blockages and you're thinking more like an acupuncturist or body worker, this is a potentiating tool. Okay, now the mission coil is also an electrostatic field therapy, puts a ton of electricity in the body. The difference is that the E-power is more like a soaker hose. If you went out and put a soaker hose in the garden and then just soaked in layer by layer, that's what it does, it soaks in. They, they literally talk about how it soaks through the tissue. It takes time to go down, down, down. So it's general soaker hose effect. The E-power runs at 70,000 Hertz. This device runs at 300,000 roughly Hertz. The difference is, this is critical. This has a vortex, literally a, like a spinner, like a tornado. So this is much more like taking a hose that has an aggressive stream and shooting, shoot, you know, getting a deeper aggressive permeate, permeate penetration. Now, this is, technology is excellent and goes with, let's go back to our chart. I will be adding it in. Detoxification antimicrobial. Environmental toxins is not going to get rid of, in my mind, it's not for heavy metals or chemicals, pesticides, herbicides. And I wouldn't use it to antidote, uh, you know, if you have radiation, uh, let's say exposure in the body, you need to re rectify that. I would go to hydrogen by far, number one, and also this homeopathic uh, approach where you can antidote radiation exposure. Um, systemic, yes, because it can cut, it basically this breaks down in Chinese medicine, they call the qi stagnation, all this blocked energy, and it gets to microbes and pathogens, and it essentially starts to break down all these blockages. So a lot of these systemic diseases are actually originate with embedded pathogens in the body you never get rid of, and this is a sort of reactive state. So this will... Actually, if you have like a congestion in your liver, your pancreas and your organs, it can help start to free up the organ systems. And I do this in my body work. I work on organs, I work on lymph. But this is a sort of a consistent field that's constantly moving and penetrating, much like hydrogen penetrates down to the cellular level. This also will go start to open up pathways. 
Now, this is very fiery therapy. A lightning storm is very fiery. So if you're dry, dehydrated, and fiery to begin with, you need to balance this therapy. So we, we, were, um, we want to work only with people after we assess them. And this is a very, very strong therapy. And we start you off on a sort of beginner starter level. And we have to really track you when we do this therapy. So when we sell a system, we include one hour of support and a discount on future support. Once you acclimate and understand the therapy, it gets a lot easier. But that can be a, a month for somebody, a day for somebody. It depends on the person, depends what you've been doing, depends on your level of understanding. But we won't do this therapy without an assessment and guidance because it can backfire. This can create a lot of detoxification in the body and you have to support the liver and the kidneys. So it really does require, in my mind, practitioner support and that's the way I approach it. So ozone is the same way. I've had people come to me and I just feel like, no, 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 go to a Western doctor. You're not gonna be responsible enough to do this therapy right. You can get into trouble with ozone therapy even hydrogen therapy, if you go too fast, too quick, I, you can have backfiring. Same thing with all these therapies. You get on a vibration machine, crank it up. You can, you know, create, if you have structural issues, I would never put somebody on it to begin with. So I really need to support this therapy. That's why I've been sort of very cautious and studying it. And now I developed uh, two kits that I created myself, a starter intermediate kit, and then an advanced kit. Okay, so the e-power description talks about blocked energy. They call it positive ions. You can Google it and you can you know, see a video and it's a really slick video. In the mission, what she writes here is something called closed loop formations. Same thing, really. It's like, it's like a a blockage basically and that this busts open these closed loops and that diseases generally exist in closed loop formations now this is kind of like you know um thinking think of a mountain stream in a swamp i mean the swamp has pathogens the stream is clean so these there's action and movement in the mountain stream there's stagnation in the swamp energy can kind of wind up in a vortex and when i treat people there's almost like a cyclonic windup, like a spring where energy blocks. It's, it's, this is very esoteric and she talks also about the kind of general nature of this field dynamic that exists on body and off body. You can read this write-up, it's very interesting. This lady is also an acupuncturist and that's this write-up makes sense to me, but it's not gonna make sense to somebody who doesn't uh, understand it and this sounds very esoteric, but um, if you use more common sense, uh, if you think of uh, like you of a spring winding up and not releasing, that's kind of the best analogy I can use. So you're trying to get that thing to break and unwind. And this is uh, when I'm treating people, these fields are very obvious. And actually my electroacupuncture device works as a, like a, like a literally like a screw gun. It's set to unscrew if you had a screw and you want to unscrew it, you turn it to negative spin and you put it in there. Sometimes it wouldn't break. It's the energy is very, very blocked. And I have techniques to help loosen the screw, <laughs> basically, in body work. But you're always trying generally to unblock these wound up vortex fields. And the, the acupuncture gun literally has a negative polarity spin and a positive polarity spin. So, and another, just to take another step, if you think of your connective tissue as kind of leather, you have a screw, leather, and a piece of wood, and you zoop, screw in the screw, and the leather grips to the wood, that's like your connective tissue grabbing onto your bones. And it just, that energy drives it into like ripping down, and that's when you feel a lot of structural pain. And then it crimps, and then you start to get imbalance in your joints. It's almost like if you had a bunch of leather crimping in on two, and you had two pieces of wood and it actually pulled the two ends together. So very fascinating, very simple. Carpenter can understand this if they could perceive it, but we don't understand these energetic screws. Anyhow, what she's describing here 
closed loop formations. It's, it's an acupuncturist point of view. So read the article, it's, you might find it very interesting. All righty, so I really give high marks to the mission coil for the antimicrobial program. Now I've worked to up to stronger coils and you know, you, you can adapt, we will help you do that. And so if you've been struggling with microbials, you're doing ozone or some other antimicrobial approach, I think you're gonna really appreciate the mission coil. So we will help you, we will assess you and uh, you just give me a, uh, send me an email at andrew at bluesywater.com. It's very, very affordable, by the way. Um, and th that includes the support. So uh, one of the most affordable technologies I've seen. Alrighty, so please understand though, you can really, really, it can backfire. Anybody who's really toxic or done a detox and it's backfired, this one can really backfire and we really need to take you through the right steps and you need other protocols in place. One of the things that I sometimes see is someone's taking supplements and they're trying to detox. It's like they're throwing detergent in the washing machine and they never turn on the machine. They open the lid, they throw in the clothes, they throw in the soap and expect cleanse. Well, you gotta have the agitation. So you gotta have skillful, ability to move the lymph, move the whole body, pump the body. It's common sense, but unfortunately people are marketed on just take this, take that, doing cleanses and they're never told to dynamically work the organs literally, much less move the whole body. So our program will give you the foundation to handle the detox, to make sure the liver and the kidneys are supported. Not, not just one dimensional chess here. It's not just move the queen around the board. So you need to have all the players going and then you will have great success. So please contact me, Andrew at bluesywater.com. Appreciate it. And um, remember integration of tools, understanding the pros and cons of each tool, understanding the Ayurvedic pros and cons. Is this fire, is this water? Therapeutic threshold, meaning you might have to do this thing three to six months to a year. I've been doing the hydrogen, for instance, for since a year ago, May. So a year and a half or longer. Therapeutic threshold became all night long starting in April. Huge shift from doing it two hours a day to all night long. I'm not saying everybody has to do that. I'm 66, inflammation at my age, at 60, past 60, inflammation's much more severe. If you're 20 years old, not a big problem. You have natural compounds in your body to handle uh, inflammation better, um, to put out the ember, so to speak, like SOD, superoxide dismutase. So, so therapeutic threshold. And by the way, in Asia, hydrogen is used in hospitals 24-7. Talk about therapeutic thresholds emergent, to help somebody who's in desperate straits. Okay, so therapeutic threshold. The opposite is true, not overdoing. I just recently had somebody who was overdoing PMF, hurting themselves. So it's not more is always better. So more time sometimes is better, but what about the intensity of the therapy? How to stage through the therapy, like with the mission call, you really need to know where to start and how to move up slowly. Then the Ayurvedic piece, once again, this is huge. If you're doing a fire therapy and you're already a fire person, you can aggravate the crap out of yourself, excuse my English. Knowing how to balance, knowing, understanding your basic nature, if you have excessive inflammation and you do an inflammatory therapy, which could be healing, fire is very healing, purifying. But if you're already on fire, if you got a dry forest, you set it on fire, you can have a burn down the whole forest. You wanna do a controlled burn. So we have videos explaining how to balance these therapies. So these are things really to critically understand. And once you get that cemented in your consciousness and you really understand the pros and cons of each tool, the elementals, the Ayurvedic elementals, then stage through the progression of getting used to it. Then once you get to know that tool, you're pretty much subconsciously already know I can handle this and I can handle that. So those initial stages of break-in, that could be a couple, days or, or with mission really can be three, four months 
and can, depends on the condition you walk in the door with. So please contact me. Um, we can really help you save money because you'll do an intelligent integration and we'll get you on the right therapy, stage you properly. What's the first most important therapy to do? I had a lady, lady locally who had Parkinson's and tremors. The first thing, boom, hydrogen. Tremors went away. Now, they haven't uh, had the most aggressive self-treating type of people, but the tremors went away. So that's great. Um, I had one lady who had an impossible bodywork injury. She said she would cooperate and do all the work. She did it from a structural point of view, combined various therapies, six, seven, eight treatments later. This 35-year-old ankle and draft testimony on my practitioner site was resolved. This would seem like a miracle, but she did do the homework for that particular problem. So my job is to help you get the right tools, walk you through the, the stages, then reassess, reassess. It's not like we just do it once. We keep coming back and we look at things. Once you get going, get the feel of this, it really becomes easier and easier because you really get to know these tools. So anybody who's developed uh, any kind of skill set, maybe initially it seems a little intimidating, but once you get to know your tools, boom, now you're looking for more interesting advanced tools. So just you need to get, get your feet in the water, learn this language, and understand a more uh, balanced approach. Alrighty, so I uh, look forward to helping you put together your skillful practice and uh, and helping you resolve these uh, core issues that you've been frustrated with. And um, there's so much you can do for, your, for yourself. So we're gonna want to teach you how to be, not feed you fish, but teach you how to fish, and become a master fisherman. Thank you very much. Take care.